name's Mike Priestman, served 16 years in the Royal Navy on the mine warfare side of it, mine hunting, mine sweeping. Armed Forces Day is very important. Gets out to the public about their service men and women and the job they do. And with the point being that after they've served, that we make the point that they need to be looked after. My name's Rick Webb. I joined the Royal Navy in 1958 leaving as a master at arms in 1981. During that time I served various places around the world, uh, South Atlantic, uh, South America, South Africa, Far East. People will say that the master at arms or the, the regulating personnel are not very well liked, but I would beg to differ. I think they were pretty well thought of. My name's uh, Vic Voller. I was in the Royal Navy from 1960 to 1969. I was in the Vitlin branch, uh, which was uh, naval stores. Uh, Vitlin is the um, foodstuffs, bedding, loan clothing. Enjoyed it. Uh, I, I, I felt I was doing a good job. My name is Stephen Walls. I was born in a small village just north of York. And at the age of 15, I joined the British Army as a junior leader in the Royal Corps of Signals, where I was posted down to a town in Devon called Newton Abbott. At the age of 18, I was posted to a remote airstrip in the Middle East. I served in the Middle East, the Far East, Holland, Germany, Belgium. I left the British Army at the age of 40. I went out to work in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, I stayed out there for the first Gulf War, hence the Gulf War Medal, which was issued to civilians who were working out there for the military. Yeah, I'm uh, Sean Brosnan, former ex-Royal Navy, uh, and I'm also the Poppy Appeal organiser for Moulton, Norton and District. I joined the Navy uh, in 1976, uh, straight from school. It was a, a, a thing that I always wanted to do, for spending a lots of time with my grandfather since I was young. He was in the Navy for 32 years. I joined up as a seaman radar. Being deployed to the South Atlantic was great because I have a great love for wildlife and I spent a lot, down, lot of time down in um, the Falklands and indeed South Georgia where uh, the wildlife is abundant and they have no fear of the humans. Well, I spent a lot of time in the Gulf as well although that was hot, <laughs> very hot. It's a different type of banter than it was in civilian life. When I came out, I found it quite difficult to adjust to that um, civilian mentality. So joining the um, associations, you feel uh, as if you're part of the family once again. So that, that really helps me along. Just like to say thank you to the veterans for joining us at Rydale House today and say thank you to themselves, their families and our current serving personnel for everything they do for our community and for the wider nation. So we're really looking forward to Armed Forces Day at Scarborough where I hope there'll be a good turnout.